guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how i created these canvas artwork pieces out of shower curtains yes you heard me right out of shower curtains so i originally got this idea from um, tiktok and you guys know I get a lot of my inspiration off TikTok, so I had to try it out and share it with you guys, and it turned out amazing. I hope you guys enjoy this video, and just keep on watching. Now, because I did two sets of canvases, I'm going to split it up into two parts, and this first part, I'm going to show you how I did this marble canvas. So here is this shower curtain that i bought off etsy and i will make sure to link everything i got offline down below in the description box but it's just this beautiful pink navy blue and a couple other colors in there it's this marble design and it's just so pretty and i love it and then i purchased these 18 by 24 inch canvases at walmart and i believe they were only like 12 dollars for a two pack so definitely check out walmart before you go to michael's or anything and then you're also going to need a staple gun. I got this from Walmart along with staples to match it from Walmart. And I think the staple gun was only like $10. If you go to like the tools section, it'll be in, in there. So the first thing I did was of course just lay the shower curtain flat on the floor so I can get, you know, an idea of um, where I want to cut out the images for my canvas. So um, my thought process with this was to first just figure out which part of the shower curtain I liked, um, you know, the design the best. And then I would just lay the canvases over that section. And I also like, if you can see, I put some horizontally and some vertically so that way when I put them up on the wall you know the design can be going in different directions and it just adds more dimension and just catches the eye a little bit differently in my opinion when it's actually up on the wall you can have the design going in the same direction if you want it to but this is just an idea um, if you guys like how my turned out now that I have figured out which design that I want for my canvas, I went ahead and just start cutting out the um, fabric around it. And you want to leave at least, like in my opinion, like two inches around the canvas because you're going to have to um, staple it snug around the back of the canvas so that way it looks flat. Um, when it's hanging on the wall and um, I'm just gonna cut around it and then set it to the side so I can begin working on each one so before we actually staple it onto the canvas we want to iron out all those wrinkles just for a flatter and smooth finish so take your iron and iron it out then you want to turn the fabric over and place the canvas upside down on the fabric like so. And what I recommend doing is stapling the top and bottom first because it's going to help keep everything snug and keep it from bulging anywhere. Then you want to turn it on its side and I kind of reference this as like wrapping a Christmas present. I just, you know, make a little triangle on the edge, on each edge like this and then staple it down and then just begin pulling the fabric and starting to staple across like I was doing on the top and bottom. And then I'll just turn it over on the other side and do the same thing. Um, fold the edges like a little Christmas present and then just keep on stapling until it's done. Here is how the first marble one is looking after I'm done. You see how nice and smooth it is and it just looks like you bought this out the store. 
and then I'm just going to show you quickly one more time how I do this. You just iron out the wrinkles like so. And then you flip the fabric over and put the canvas on over top of it like this. Then you just start stapling, but remember to staple the top and the bottom first. Then when you get to the sides, we're going to fold it up like a little Christmas present and start stapling those side pieces as well. Then after I repeated those steps on all four canvases, this is how they turned out. As you can see, this is what I was talking about with the direction of some of the marble is going vertically and the direction of other um, canvases, the marble is going horizontally. So this is how they look hanging up on the wall. I just used like a simple thumbtack and put them all up there and I think they look great. And now we're moving on for the supplies for canvas number two. So this is a really cool shower curtain that I got off a website called Society6. Um, they have a bunch of different prints on there if you want to check out their website. This art piece right here is actually for my living room. So that's why um, it has those gold accents and stuff on it. For this set of artwork, we're actually just using a pack of two 24 by 30 inch canvases that I also got from Walmart. And we're still using that same staple gun that we talked about earlier. I really just wanted the gold portion to stand out on my artwork pieces. So I just laid them side by side um, to show a little bit of a little bit of the white and majority of the gold but the cool thing about this is they're gonna be they're gonna be similar but two different um, kind of textures and pattern to it a little bit so this is how I laid it out and then same thing as the other canvases I just began to cut around it making sure that I left about two inches around um, the perimeter of the canvases. And by this point you guys should be experts at this so I'm not going to go into much detail um, about the process but as you can see I'm just quickly ironing out all those wrinkles. Since these are going to be sitting horizontally on my wall, I'm going to go ahead and staple this is the top of it and I'm going to staple it, making sure that I'm pulling it tight and stapling it as I go. Then I just wrap the sides up like a Christmas present and keep on stapling till it's all secure and nice and neat. And here are the final results of the two canvases. I absolutely love this. I feel like they look so nice and so expensive. And I just took some thumbtacks and hung these up above my couch. And this is how it's looking, you guys. I absolutely love it. And I hope you guys love it too. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below letting me know of other youtube videos you would like to see from me and also don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification button so that way you'll be notified every time that i post a video thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye